guys, Awesome Nerd Show here, and today we are doing an unboxing of the Nerd Block for this month. Um, but before we get into the box, I would like to say thank you to all our new subscribers. Um, we finally um, hit over the 100 mark, so super excited about that milestone and stuff. As they say, it's one of the hardest um, ones to get for most people and stuff, so I'd like to thank you all um, for subscribing to our channel and hope we can get a lot more. And so now we'll get into this unboxing of, as I said, the Nerd Block this month. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the theme is at all, so I'll just have to um, see what they put in here and everything. Um, so it looks like, first up, as our shirt for this month, we have a Doctor Strange shirt. So as you can see, it's got the um, Doctor Strange there as his face. You can see, and then, of course, it says Doctor Strange. And he has his, like, power things there around his wrist and everything. So that's um, pretty cool. It's not got a whole lot of detail to the shirt and stuff, and the shirt looks different than normal. I don't know if they've switched it or something, but it just looks different. Um, but that's a pretty cool shirt. That's usually about how most of their shirts are. Just a pretty much plain design and stuff. Um, so next up, it looks like we have some like socks here. Some like dressy socks or something. But they are from Futurama. I don't know if you can see that or not. But they have um, all this design on there. Of course, all a bunch of the different characters from Futurama. I guess they're the same. Yeah. I guess they maybe go together or some I don't know. But there's different characters on the other side. So I guess it just depends on how you wear the socks because it looks like these are, you can wear either side, up or down, or whatever. And then depending on which side you choose, it shows the character. So you can have the same side, different side, I don't know. It's whatever you want to do with them. But I'm sure Bro will like those because he's the sock person. I like Futurama more than I like socks. Well, you'll like this too. Um, so next up we have a hat, and it looks like there's Stargate, maybe, on it. I nice. assume that's what that is. Yeah, Stargate. Yeah, the design's not very... I don't know if there's anything... Nope. So I don't know if there's anything more to it. It's just got a really small picture. That I'm sure if most people see, they won't even know what it is. So it's just kind of really weird and plain. But it's got the... looks like a um, Egypt pyramid, and of course the Stargate ring or whatever there in the background. And stuff, so it's very plain design. So, kind of weird for that. Um, we have a clip of some sort. Uh, oh yeah, it's like a chip clip or some sort of cl thing, clip thing stick on the refrigerator. It's got a magnet on the back here. And you just clip it and hold stuff. But it's got Donnie Darko, um, like a weird rabbit thing there as the picture. Frank. There you go, Frank the Rabbit. Frank the Tank Rabbit. I don't know. Um, so that's a pretty cool, I guess, item. Something that's useful. You can <clears throat> use clip stuff. So we'll definitely put that on our refrigerator. We have, it looks like a card game of some sort. It's Rick and Morty Total Rick Hall. Or like we call it, Rick Hall. Um, card game for, it says, two to five players ages 15 and up. Of course, made by Adult Swim and everything. And so there's the back. So I don't know exactly what this is. We'll go ahead and open it. Just hopefully it's easy to look at and see what it is. If I can get the box open. We might have actually found a card game that our dad will play with us. Yeah, our dad will talk <coughs> about Rick and Morty all the time. So I guess there's none without really getting into it, but it looks like there's just various pictures and stuff on here. Oops, as I drop stuff. And then there's that. And then of course I assume these are the instructions here that we'll have to look into and um, possibly play this to see what goes on and happens and everything. So that's kind of cool actually getting a game. I think that's pretty much like the first game we've ever gotten in one of these boxes and I think that's a pretty cool idea especially for like these just small like card game sets and stuff. Um, then it looks like our last item for the month which is our pin is um, a California license plate which I believe is the futuristic plate from uh, Back to the Future and so it's supposed to be like a barcode type thing. Let's see if it says what got nothing on here but I'm pretty sure it's from the futuristic back to the future stuff but we'll look in the book and see but it's um, again a newer like highly detailed um, pin and stuff which is really cool and so that is it for everything in the box now we have our book here and it um, it doesn't say what the theme is on the front I'll see if it maybe says in here somewhere but of course all sorts of uh, the thing on time machines like hot tub um, so it says of course there's the I don't know if it has the theme but I don't know if it's like strange or I, I have no clue um, but it's got Doctor Strange 
So of course we have, yeah, it's the DeLorean license plate, so I um, was correct about that. We have the Rick and Morty re, um, Total Recall game, Futurama Socks, Frank Chip Clip is what it's <laughs> that clip's called. We have the Stargate SG-1 beanie with pom-pom, so everyone loves a pom-pom on a beanie. And then the Dark Strange Shirt Punch shirt. And the next month's theme is Team Up, so that looks awesome. I don't know if you can... No, it doesn't look like it's any characters hinting at to what it could be. Um, hopefully, uh, I assume stuff like the Avengers and um, Justice League, maybe Power Rangers with the new movie and stuff would be cool. Um, so that is it for this unboxing. So, Burr, what was your favorite item out of this box? Uh, I don't know. I feel this was a pretty good box all around, and I kind of like everything. Oh. See, I thought the opposite. I didn't like this box at all, but it's mostly because I don't like anything from the box, except for Doctor Strange, but I don't like the shirt very much. Um, I really am disappointed this hat. Not that I would wear it or anything, because I don't wear these, but I think this is such a stupid design to me. I think they could have just done like the Stargate itself, or at least had the words, you know, Stargate or something, to make it more recognizable, because from a distance you can't even tell what that is. You have to like look at it really close to know or anything. Um, but that's going to be it for the Nerd Block this month. Be sure to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave any comments you have down below. Let me know what your favorite item was. And please hit that red subscribe button to help get us to our next goal of a thousand. And we will see you next time.